Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to Save the Crew and today is the regular season finale. We have three games left to play and it's all left to play for. You can see us sitting in third place right now, we're only three points back, back of first place Atlanta and that supporter shield, but we're only six points clear of NYCFC and falling out of the playoffs altogether. And these three games left that we have to play are interesting ones we start off at home against dc united they're in ninth place out of the playoff picture altogether and then we go on the road to face orlando which is a team we have not beaten yet this season and then we finish off at yankee stadium against nycfc so two road games difficult ones to finish the season and this could go one of two ways either we beat dc united to start today and we go into the we, we continue on maybe win the supporter shield and go into the playoffs as the hottest team in the league that would be ideal obviously or we falter against dc united and from there we're scratching just to stay in the playoff picture so this really really comes down to this first game against dc united we have to have a good performance now as important as this first match is for us we do have to rotate the team a little bit we're coming off of that extra time us open cup victory the team is tired we have to rest a poku he hasn't had a rest in a long time he's very tired so that means bringing in adam john up top i don't want to do it but we don't really have a choice i could put zardes up there but i'd rather not mess with him and what he's doing right now on the right mid spot he's been phenomenal i'll leave him there adam john will play probably the first 45 minutes if he's playing well i might leave him in a little bit longer but if we do need that offense at that point i will bring on a poku so It'll be Adam John up top for us in one of our most important games of the season so far. Alright, here we go. Kickoff against DC in our final home game of the regular season. And I would absolutely love nothing more than to win this game and keep this undefeated streak going into the playoffs and be just the hottest team in the league going into the playoffs. That would be absolutely ideal. Nice move by Higuain. Looking for Zardes. Zardes, I really messed that up. Going back to Higuain. He hits the crossbar. How many times is he going to hit the post today? Ooh. Yamil Assad, what a header, man. Go up and win that thing over Harrison Apple. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Darren Maddox, a little pineapple head. Almost freaking put them ahead. I'd have been so mad if he had scored right there. They're the worst goal-scoring team in the league. Today, our defense needs to have a good game. Oh, Maddox. No, don't let him turn back inside. God, dear Maddox is just giving my center backs all sorts of problems. This is ridiculous. Come on, guys. Just cover one dude. They have one attacker up there. You have one job. Shut him down. All right. Two and a half minutes into the second half here. A poke who's coming in. I've had enough of Adam John. We're just not... He's not getting it done up there. Actually, let me let me switch the instructions back for a poku because I had John on target, man. That's definitely not what we want a poku on. We want him on getting behind. Use that sp that pace, you speedy little bastard. Okay, it's going to be Zardes. He's just going to do it by himself. Here he comes. Zardes. Chopping it back inside. It's still Zardes. It's still... Referee! No foul given. The ball falls to trap and it's off of Canoose behind for a corner. But Zardes is down hurt. He's holding his elbow. That is the last thing that we can really afford. Come on, Santos. Run this thing out. Let's keep possession for a minute. Here we go. Oh, Santos is actually making a very nice run. He's kind of running out of gas. I don't know where to go with it. He gets Christian Martinez on the wing. Martinez holding it. Going to look back post. He's got Higuain and Higuain scores. That cross was so bad that it was good. He hit it so far behind Higuain that the defender overran it. And Federico Higuain sticks out a toe and taps it behind everybody. That play shouldn't have worked, but we'll take it. Christian Martinez gets an assist coming on for the injured Giassi Zardes. And Higuain comes up with a massive, massive goal late in this game. Oh my goodness. Keep your heads and keep possession. Valenzuela running this thing out. There we go. Just get it out of trouble, Valenzuela. I know Ariola's chasing you, and he drug you about 45 feet, but that doesn't matter. That is the end of the match. It doesn't matter what the final score is as long as we come out on top and we get the 1-0 victory against DC United. Wow. That, I wouldn't expect anything less from this team. Just, just keep you on the edge of, the edge of your seat the entire match and then do something crazy that either wins or loses the match. Thankfully, this time we won it. 
And that keeps us at least keeping pace with Atlanta, which is all we need to do. All right, so nothing has changed atop the Eastern Conference. Atlanta won, Orlando won, and of course we were able to see off DC United. So we're still three points back of, of Atlanta, one point behind Orlando. The good news is everyone below us lost, so we have secured a playoff position. We don't have to worry about falling out of the playoffs now. We're good there. Now we turn our attention to maybe taking that top spot in the Eastern Conference. But regardless of whether we're able to catch Atlanta or not, I want to maintain this unbeaten run into the playoffs and go in as hot as possible. That's, that's going to be huge for us and the run we're going to be able to put together in the playoffs. And to do that, we have to try to beat a team we haven't been able to beat all year. In three tries, I think we have one loss and two draws against Orlando. They've gotten the better of us almost every single time. It feels, even the ones we drew, they felt like a loss. Like we were up and then they got one back at the very end to draw. It just, it felt like a loss. So nothing would make me happier than being one of our biggest Eastern Conference rivals this season right before the playoffs. So here is this Orlando City team one more time. Very, very solid, especially in defense. Joe Bendik in goal with Sané and Spectre right in front of him. A good attack as well with Dwyer, Miram, and they did buy Michael Barrios as well from Dallas with Kleshton in there. Solid, solid attacking bunch, man. This is just a solid team all over the place. Poku, Santos, Higuain for Zardes. Zardes trying to get it back for a Poku. He does. It's blocked by Bendik. What did Santos just do? He just missed an open net. Really? I would say I can't believe he did that, but I actually can fully believe he did that. He has the worst composure out of anyone that I have had on any team, I think, in career mode. He misses so many open goals. Oh, God. I got caught. Now Barrios is through. Oh, big save Zach Steffen up the other end. We almost went from having a 1-0 lead to being down 1-0. Thank God for Zach Steffen. We're going to go over here for Santos this time. Santos... Cuts it in, keeps possession, and plays it for Apoku. That was really good play. Apoku looking in there. Oh, he has Zardes back post. Zardes dips in. What's the header wide? Oh, it's going to be one of those games, isn't it, where we have chance after chance after chance, and we're going to end up losing this game on a late goal. This is where we are at our most effective. Zardes chops inside. Zardes still. Oh, he just couldn't get the pass off. I don't even know who that was coming into the box, but Santos on it on the other side. Good looking play. Santos looking for Zardes. Big save by Joe Bendik. That one was on target. That was a good header. Now playing it for Santos who turns it. Plays it for Higuain. Higuain lays it. Oh, get the ball. One more pass and we had Zardes and we just, he took a touch instead of just passing it. Just flick it on. Oh, there's a mistake. It's a Poku. And it's a goal. It comes off of Sané in the, in the, in front of the goal. I don't even know what the hell just happened. We went from blowing a golden chance to getting one out of nothing and a Poku scores. This team is going to kill me. This is going to happen. Like, this team is going to be the death of me. I'm going to have a heart attack. Oh, they're coming forward already. Saucer question. Oh, we were there and read that. That was very, very good. Higuain going up. For, how do you pass that behind a Poku right there? On what planet did that make sense? Oh, wire. God damn. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. These damn deflections. No. No, 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 no. That is absolute trash. Did you see how many deflections were on that? We blocked so many passes and it just kept going back to them. This is why we can't be Orlando. This happens every fucking time we play them. They're the luckiest team I've ever played against. It's such trash. There was a deflection. And there was one before that as well. A good play in the end to open up Barrios and a good finish to beat Stefan. But they didn't deserve that chance. We played we played that perfectly. There's nothing else we could have done. I mean, they still have numbers full. They still do. If we can get these passes right. And we do definitely get these passes right. Come on, Santos. There's the speed of Pedro Santos coming in. Behind the rest of the team, he's going to cross it for Zardes. And Zardes doesn't miss tap-ins like Pedro Santos' lame ass does. Good pass from Santos, by the way. GG for that one. But Zardes finishes those chances. And we've got the lead back. Five minutes left to play. And there is our MVP, Giassi Zardes, one more time. Oh, man, this team, I'm telling you. I can't handle this team, man. we got to get better next season or I'm going to have a damn heart attack. You wonder why I had to take a break from this series? 
I can't handle this. Why did Apple run the wrong way? Oh, not these deflections again. Not these cheesy deflections, please. Oh, a move for Will Johnson. Big play, Stefan. And Valenzuela does enough. And it's actually a goal kick. I can't. I can't do it. I'm making some subs right now. I'm going to have a heart attack. I can't handle this team, man. Oh, they're putting me on edge every second of this game. Oh, man. <laughs> and that is the final whistle. I don't even want to go into the playoffs. I, I'm not going to be able to handle that. I can barely handle this. It's too much. This team. Oh, my God. I feel, I feel like drained after every single match. Every game is so freaking close. And we do so many things right. And then we do so many things that put us back under pressure again. Oh, my goodness. Okay, at least we got the three points there. We have one more game left in the season. And we're on a, what, five-game, I think, five-game winning streak. So now with one game left to play, here is where things stand. Atlanta drew their last game, so they are one point ahead of us. If they do anything other than win, that opens the door for us if we're able to knock out NYCFC. NYCFC, on the other hand, still has a shot at a playoff position. They would need a win and a Philadelphia and a Toronto loss to see them into that fifth and final position. So... A must-win game for both teams. Our main priority at this point is to remain healthy, to be honest. If we're able to get the Supporter Shield, that's great. If we lose, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Orlando might jump back ahead of us. But finishing second or third, honestly, doesn't make a difference. I would love to win the Supporter Shield, but health going into the playoffs is our main priority at this point. We did just get Abu back as well. He's not fully fit enough to play, but he is coming back from that injury in time for the playoffs, which will give us another boost. So, with one game left to play... We could still win the Supporter Shield, but we're going to have to go through NYCFC at Yankee Stadium to do it. Alright, here is what we're looking at from NYCFC. Pretty sure it might not be their strongest 11. I mean, Lewis and Wallace are both on the bench. They're going with Burgett and Medina at the wings. I don't know if that's their, their strongest, the strongest way to go for them, but they got David V up top. The midfield of Morales, Herrera, and Ring is very difficult to break down, and their defense is pretty solid as well. Last game of the season. Last chance to make that supporter shield push. Also, Apoku is still in as a chance, an outside chance at the Golden Boot. He would need at least a brace here today to see uh, to have a chance at it. This is nice. Higuain. Oh, wow. Just ran off the ball by Herrera, but Higuain returns the favor. And Apoku cuts it in. Apoku's around one. He's around another. Apoku around another. Apoku wants that goal to boot. Now he's one goal away from tying it up atop the goal scoring stance. Uh, goal scoring. What is that called? Goal scoring charts? Goal sco it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Apoku has put us in the lead at Yankee Stadium. What an individual run by Apoku. To be honest, he just kind of bobbed and weaved. He didn't really do anything special. He just took the right routes to get around those defenders. But it was a good run and a good finish as well. Ooh, how did that pass get through there? I had that covered. Oh, David v oh, Holy shit. That was a rocket off the boot of David Villa. Woo! That leads to an NYCFC corner now. And Trap does head that away to safety. Woo, that was close. Over here for Santos. In for Apoku, who takes it around. Apoku! Oh, he almost did it. He almost had the 25-minute brace. That would have been huge. Can we get one more hat trick for Edward Apoku this season? That would be magical. Good tackle by Arter. Thought it was a foul, but ref says play on. That's good. Apoku going for Higuain. Higuain for Santos. Here could be goal number two. Santos rolls it in. Far post. Big-time counterattack from Columbus. Blowing up that L or NY, almost called an LAFC. NYCFC defense. And there it is. When we can start our attacks behind that midfield, that's where we have our problems. That midfield is solid. If we can get in behind them quickly, they get exposed. And we've done that quite well here today. 2-0, 30 minutes in. We are all over NYCFC in this one. And we're away on another counterattack, and it's looking like a good one. Here comes Zardes. Turns it in early. Playing it for Higuain now. Higuain. What can he do with it? Turns it back. Lays it back for Zardes. Santos. Oh, Poku, you're offsides, bro. Stay on side. You had your second. That was so well worked. Ooh, what a ball from, from Higuain to Zardes. Zardes 
Gonna try to come inside. Yeah, not quite working out. Instead, it just falls to Pedro Santos. What a massive mistake at the back for NYCFC. They panicked and tried to clear it out. Didn't get good connection with it. And ended up just laying it across the box for Pedro Santos, who gets his second goal of the game. And it is 3-0 inside of 60 minutes. Bad clearance there. He did not need to slide. He had plenty of options to just lay it back and then clear it. But whatever. We will take that 3-0. That is going to do it for the regular season. Another win for us. That's six on the trot heading into the playoffs. This is where we want to be. However, did we win the Supporter Shield? We have to go check the standings to see if Atlanta lost. If they did, I have no idea how we got the support. How we're even this close at this point, but that would be incredible. Okay, here we go. Western Conference looks like this. Seattle actually, wow, they took first. That's impressive. That makes our US Open Cup victory even more impressive, by the way. Colorado second, tied with Sporting Kansas City. LA Galaxy and RSL round out the playoff picture there. No Portland, which is a little surprising because they're usually always a playoff team in FIFA. And Vancouver, who's almost always in the top two or three in the West, finishes dead last. But that's not what we're here for. That's, 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 that's all good and dandy, but we want to get down to the to the nitty-gritty. The, the, real, the real meat and potatoes here. Did we get the supporter shield? I know Atlanta was playing at home against Toronto on the last day of the season. So, what happened in that one? They were one point ahead of us. And they fucked it up. We have won the Supporter Shield. Atlanta drew, they must have drawn with, they drew with Toronto. How, with all of the problems this team has had, and I've been blown out this season more than any other career mode series I've ever done. And in large part, that is because I've racked up the sliders. I mean, I really cranked those butt those babies up to make this more difficult. And it has been. I am so shocked that we just won the supporter shield there. That is quite impressive. We really buckled down and got the job done when we needed to. The last two episodes, we only had one loss. That was the beginning of last episode. We got blown out by SKC, I thought. We're in a lot of trouble here. We're, we're, we're going to be scratching just to make the playoffs. And here we are with a supporter shield. Let me double check the points here. Seattle finished on 57. We finished on 59. Wow. What a crazy regular season that has been. So here is what all of that means. Here is the playoff picture as we currently stand. The one game playoffs have not been played yet. In the East, it will be New York Red Bulls and Philadelphia and LA Galaxy and RSL in the West. So once those games are completed, we'll find out who our opponent is as well as Seattle's opponent in the West. And then it will be Atlanta and Orlando, the two teams that have been in first and second place all season long, now going at it in the other quarterfinal matchup, Colorado and Sporting Kansas City in the Western Conference. So that is going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy it and you're looking forward to these playoffs, which I kind of am now, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you when we come back for some more Save the Crew. See ya.